Do you feel like your rabbit's living area is missing something? Well, you've come to the right place. Today, I'm going to reveal several bunny setups that just might give you a few ideas to spruce up your own bunny's habitat. So stick around. That's a catchy intro. What's up, everybody? I'm Diane from Hooks Hollands, bringing you rabbit info and buntertainment since 2015. Yeah, I made up the word buntertainment. It's bunny-themed entertainment. Anyhow, if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing to the channel. Welcome to Rabbit Room Tour, episode number four, the series where I share viewers' rabbit habitats to give you ideas and inspiration for your own bunny's setup. Let's hop to it. Is that a bad pun? First up, we have Elizabeth from Cleveland, Ohio, and her bunny, Barney. Barney was a bunny that Elizabeth rescued from Craigslist. He is a Netherland dwarf, and he had been kept with another male rabbit, and they had been fighting, and Barney was in quite rough condition when Elizabeth got him. So this is a great reminder to everybody who might not know, it is not a good idea to keep two unaltered male rabbits together because most of the time they will fight and it can be quite violent. So Barney's setup is a modified free roam setup. So he has part of a room and it is blocked off by an exercise pen. This type of setup works great if you only have part of a room that you can devote to your bunny because it is a lot of upkeep. This is a great spacious setup and my only suggestion might be just to make sure that all the cords are out of the way for your bunny. Elizabeth says that Barney absolutely loves to hang out on her white chair and to hop up on her bed as you will see here. He is so adorable. This beautiful little hutch came from Tractor Supply along with the vintage hay and pellet bins that Elizabeth uses for storage. She got Barney's wooden food dish there from Goodwill, and there he is munching on some yummy greens. He has plenty of toys to offer enrichment. You see a tunnel, and Elizabeth says his favorite toy is that little willow ball you see there. He has a nice water dish, a hay rack, and even a cardboard box to play in, complete with brown packing paper. Most bunnies really love the packing paper. It's noisy and fun to chew and dig in. Barney recently suffered a bout of GI stasis, but thankfully is back to his normal happy self. For those who might not know much about GI stasis, I will put a link to a video that I did on that so you can get more information. Thanks for sharing, Elizabeth. Next, we head east to Clarence, New York and meet Gabby and her bunny, Benji. Benji is a solid blue tort Holland Lop bunny, and here you will see him with Gabby's collie, Yankee. Now, Benji is quite used to Gabby's dogs, but if you're getting a new bunny, it can be a good idea to keep other pets away from your bunny for a while because you have to remember that rabbits are prey animals and even the scent of another animal thought of as a predator can make your bunny want to hide and not be as social. Benji is a sweet guy, loves head rubs. For his enclosure, he has an exercise pen and foam puzzle mats as the flooring. That helps to protect your carpet and messes are pretty easy to clean up off of those as well. He has a little hideout to hang out in and a dog bed that he likes to sleep on. A nice large litter box with the hay above the litter box. That's a great idea to keep your hay above or in the litter box because bunnies often pee and poop while they munch on hay. Benji has lots of fun chew toys, including a toilet paper tube stuffed with hay, which is both fun for the bunny and cheap for you. And you know, I gotta say it guys, stacking cups. I actually just ordered a couple sets for my own bunnies because everybody seems to use those in their setup. So they must be really good. Thanks so much for sharing, Gabby. Let's hop on over to Devon, England and meet Abby and her bunnies, Lily and Petal. That's Petal on the left, who is a six year old Himalayan Netherland dwarf and Lily on the right, is a two-year-old Netherland mix. Now, Abby was faced with a predicament. Both of her girls are spayed, 
but they are territorial and so they just can't live together safely. So what did she do? She and her fiance created separate living spaces for the girls. So they each have a nice spacious enclosure that keeps them safe from one another and then they take turns using the large play area in the center. Petal has the top L-shaped enclosure and Lily has the bottom. For flooring inside the enclosures, Abby uses carpet squares and blankets. They have litter boxes, plenty of hay, and lots of toys to keep them entertained. I especially like the hanging hay basket. That's really cute. This is why I always recommend those with multiple bunnies have a plan B and separate enclosures in case your bunnies just never get along even though they are spayed or neutered. Sometimes you just can't be friends with some bunny. Excellent job, Abby. And finally, we have Claire L. from San Jose, California and her bunnies Timmy and Benjamina. Timmy is a silver marten double-maned lion head and Benjamina is a black tort lion head. Timmy is eight months old and Benjamina is a recent addition to the family at only three months old. Now these are Timmy's current digs and see how they glow at night. Sweet bachelor pad Timmy. Timmy is neutered, he's eight months old, but Benjamina is only three months old and is just too young to get spayed yet so she will have to wait until the summer. So currently they are residing separately. Timmy has a hutch style setup and Benjamina has an exercise pen style setup, but they both reside in a larger patio that they can use to play on when Claire is able to supervise them. They are able to play separately and so they are safe now with Timmy being neutered, you actually could attempt bonding now. You just have to be very careful, watch closely, and take things slowly. Sometimes it's very easy to bond two bunnies, especially with a younger one and an older one who is neutered, but sometimes it can take a while, and in a few cases, it's just not possible, as we saw with the last setup. So Claire is very smart to have two separate enclosures, and she plans on joining them later assuming that they bond successfully. So let's check out Timmy's digs. He has a wooden ramp he can use to hop up in his room. He even has a mirror so he can make sure he doesn't have lettuce in his teeth, I assume. Benjamina wouldn't like that. Claire says that the flooring is textured vinyl and she even has a heating pad and a wireless thermometer so she can make sure the temperature is okay for little Timmy. And oh yeah, you know there's gonna be stacking cups. Timmy has some shelves he can hop up to to get to the windowsill. Check out this shed window that Claire and her family installed. Now Timmy's hutch is actually a chicken coop and I will put the link below. So I really like how that just takes his whole setup to the next level. Down in Timmy's lower level, he has a turf mat, which looks like grass, but you don't have to mow it. So I'm digging that. He has a wear jumbo scatterless litter box, a hay rack, plenty of toys and there he is just chilling out down below. Timmy, I love your digs and I wish you and Benjamina the best of luck at bonding. I truly hope that you are a love connection. Thanks so much for sharing, Claire. If you are interested in submitting your own bunnies set up for consideration in a future episode, I do have instructions below in the video description. First of all, please tell me your name and your bunny's name and where you are from so I know how to introduce you. Number two, include a brief bio about your bunny's personality so we can get to know your bunny better. I think that makes the video a little bit more interesting. Number three, please include a list of the items that you show in your rabbit setup. This helps others who might want to purchase the same items because I do put the links down below in the video description. Number four and most important are your images because that's what everybody sees. If you're taking pictures on your phone, which is totally fine, don't hold your phone vertically. Hold it horizontally. It's really difficult to use the vertical pictures because you end up with bars on the side or I have to zoom in and then it pixelates. And that brings me to the next recommendation is please include the full resolution photos. I can't use an image that's 640 by 480 because this video is 1920 by 1080. Big pictures, horizontally, and you're good to go. 
If you'd like to include one or two short videos of your bunny, that's great too. So when your pictures are ready to go, upload them to an online photo album service, such as Google Photos, and then email me the link to your photo album, as well as your introduction, a brief bio about your bunny, and the list of items that you use in your bunny setup. I can't promise that I will use your bunny setup in a future video, but I definitely will take it into consideration. Thanks so much to all who participated in this episode, and I look forward to receiving submissions of your bunny setup. If you like this video, please drop a like, and I will see everybody next time. Look who came to see me. Say hi to Paisley. I don't think she's happy. And if you would like to submit your own bunny setup for a future episode, that was my husband. <laughs> I almost forgot to put my mic on.